Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDC Joe video. Today, guys, we're looking at the busted Crobat VMAX today. I want to revisit Crobat today because it's a fun deck to play and it's pretty cool. Um, Crobat, of course, with that attack stealth poison, being able to hit and run for two energy, you can do 70 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, and you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So, of course, we can switch into Altaria here with Miraculous Charm, where it's immune to these and GXs, but we can also go into Lily's Poke Doll so they can't take a prize when they knock it out. So, it's a hit and run deck. And then uh, we can even add more poison damage with Tuck Stroke with literally the ability more poison to put more poison damage on them in between turns. Um, and that's the deck. I have kind of updated my Crobat deck a little bit to kind of be in this Battle Styles meta. Of course, Urshifu is very popular. So I am playing Weakness Guard Energy in the deck to protect you from Urshifu. But I'm also playing Stealthy Hood uh, to kind of give your Crobat more immunity to stuff like Giratina that can remove your Weakness Guard Energy. Just to kind of give you that immunity, it might help a little bit in that matchup. But yeah, it is a very, very fun deck to play, and um, it might be pretty decent. Altaria is pretty good right now. Not a lot of people are respecting it. Sometimes you just get cheap wins with Altaria. So forget the video, guys. Of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, make sure to get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, you know, Rebel Clash, Sword Shield base set, or you want to get a specific GX or promo code or promo V or VMAX code, or you want to get one of the Battle Arena codes, get them over at Card Cavern. If you get any codes over at Card Cavern, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cavern. So check out to Card Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. Also, if you want to check out the articles I've been posting, the video article, deck profiles, uh, check them out and give them a watch. All right, let's look at the list. So yeah, this is the list I'm rocking with here. I mean, yeah, it's a fun deck, straightforward stuff. Crobat VMAX, um, I am only playing two of them, as you can see. Now, the reason I'm only, only playing two Crobat VMAX in the deck is because a lot of the time we only need two, and plus we have an ordinary rod in the deck. But we're never putting any more than one in play most of the time, mainly because, you know, if we put two in play, we could run the risk of having boss, boss, and, you know, we'll have another Crobat in play. I am playing four of them. Crobat V, of course, one of the nice things is kind of, you got a decent amount of draw in this deck. You got Ma Marnie, Research, and I got the Sinlin. And I also got Crobat himself for Dark Asset, which is kind of cool. You get a bit of draw in the deck. Um, now, the main reason why I'm playing Sinlin, I want to talk about this, is because of ADP. Now, ADP is a bit of a headache to play against because you can't put Crobat VMAX in play against ADP because they have Boss's Order. Not only do they have, do they have Boss, they have four Boss in the deck and an Eldegoss. So they have five Gusting cards in the deck. And unless, like, you get insane lucky and they lose, like, half of their boss, they lose all their boss in, like, one turn, you, a lot of the time you just take an Eld ADP. However, the only way to beat them is to have an Altaria in play. But even if you put an Altaria in play, they can still play Mawile. But that's where Sinlin can be kind of useful. Uh, it gets you back a supporter, and sometimes, you know, with this Crobat deck, you want to just spam bosses order. We are playing three of them. Sometimes you want to be spamming boss every turn, mainly to knock out threats that can take down Altaria. And Sinlin is a way to do that, but also it's a free way to discard a basic from our hand and get supporter back and the back of supporter is kind of nice and i'm digging the sinlin i think it's a really cool tech card um the other supporter i want to maybe run is a mallow and lana or a cheryl to heal your crobat i think healing crobat does go a long way so if you want to play a cheryl or a mal lana those are also really decent tech cards i think mal lana is better than cheryl because it acts as a switch but also you don't have to discard all the energy from crobat if you share your crobat in the active spot you have to lose all the energy so you have to put crobat on the bench before you cheryl and sometimes you can go cheryl to the crobat on the bench heal it and have altaria just chill in the active for a few turns and then you rebuild your crobat back up so there is the option to do that um but i'm trying out sinlin instead but malon is also pretty good uh, i got stamp in the deck you know the price trade sometimes makes him go down to stamp i got a few normal switching cards sometimes just playing a normal switch goes a long way and they got swell in the deck as a stadium big charm it's totally good to have when crobat gives it 330 hp very beneficial against reshizard where it can do double blaze and there's of course hood for the weak guard and then three weak guard energies 10 basic dark turn of the list. Plus a rod, just get back stuff. Many stuff like Mew against Urshifu and then also Altaria, but gets you energy back if they play Crushing Hammer or you, you know, lose a Crobat. Um, that's the list. Try it out. See if we can win. All right, getting into our first match with the Busted Crobat VMAX deck here. And let's see what we're up against. Potentially a ADP deck in this first game. If I had to take a guess from the deck box and sleeve, it might be ADP. We'll have to see. If it's ADP, we don't really need the Crobat in the matchup, but we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, it's ADP, as expected. Good old ADP. The best deck ever, of course, bro. The best, the most fair deck ever printed. And yeah, the turn one water G. I mean, the Mawile is the only thing that kind of scares me. Um, 
Yeah, Mawile is really bad for us because they can force basics down, which is not good. But we'll see if we can take down this monstrosity of a deck. I mean, we only have to attack with Altaria. We technically can't use Crobat, right? We can't really put a Crobat in play because we run the risk of getting body to buy the Mawile. My opponent benches a second ADP, which is kind of questionable. It doesn't think it makes a difference, but it's kind of a questionable play for my opponent, you know? Okay, that was a good top deck. So we can quick ball here, grab another Swablu. We make sure we get multiple Swablus down. We'll put a, uh... I mean, do we have to attack with Altaria? It's like, if they have the Aegis Slash, they have the Aegis Slash. There's nothing I can do about that, you know? Let's just attach to the Swablu. I'm just gonna pass. We have the Crobat in her hand, so... We can go calm for Altaria. We just need to get one Altaria in play. We should win the game. Uh, we do have to watch out for... Uh, Ma we have to watch out for Mawile, though. And that's why having the Sinling can be important to discard an extra card from your hand. Because you just need to get rid of your Crobat. You can't have Crobats in your hand. Okay. They're researching... If they bench lock themselves, we're vibing. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. But if they do end up bench locking themselves here, we don't have to worry too much about a Mawile coming down. Because we just don't attack them. Right? Again, it's unfortunate we're in a matchup where the Crobat's not necessary, but uh, what happens when you play against ADP, bro? You play against ADP, you don't really need too much, but you just put the Altari on play. I'm going to pass. We're just going to hold the hand. We don't need to do anything. We literally don't have to do anything here. We can save the Sinlin for when we need to discard a Crobat. We also have the ability to attack, and I, th I think I do want to attack them if I can, just to, you know, put pressure on them. Right? I think we do want to attack them at the end of the day. Oh, okay. They boss my Altaria. Do they not know that they can't damage it? Oh, there's the Mawile. All right, the Mawile's gone. Look at that. Beautiful. They couldn't get value out of Mawile when we had a two-card hand. That's what we like to see. Uh, unless my opponent plays Aegis Slash, I don't know why they boss me here. That didn't make any sense. I, like, they can't use Phoebe. Phoebe does not work because they have no VMAXs. Unless there's like a Zacian VMAX that I don't know about. We'll see what happens. I think we always just pass, right? And just play like they don't have the Aegis Slash, you know? Very exciting game of Pokemon here, but this is what... Ooh, another uh, Altaria. That's pretty nice. It's what Standard has become, guys. It has become just get an Altaria on play and hope your opponent doesn't counter it and you just pass, pass. Until they concede the game. So then we'll see what ends up happening here. I mean, they did hard treat the ADP. So, like, if they... I mean... I don't know. Maybe they can't get to another Ultimate Ray, like... Well, they're down three saucers, too. Like, if they want to get an Aegis Slash, it's not going to be easy to power it up, you know? We'll see what they have. But we should just win this. Like, unless they have a second Mawile, which they could. There's some ADP list I might play, too. We should be able to just win this by just... My opponent just is like, oh, there's an Altaria in play. Not much you can do. And it's unfortunate we don't get much interactivity in this match. Um, because it's just, we put an Altaria in play, we just win the game. But, I mean, again, it's like... You can't put a Crobat in play because of boss's order and alter creation. You know, yeah, you just don't get much interaction against ADP, but that's that's the that's the path you choose when you play a Crobat VMAX deck that has two Altari in it. You just don't get interaction. Because you can't you can't have interaction or you just lose the game. That's 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 the state of standard. You just you can't you can't have interaction or you just lose. Alright, let's see if they had the slash. They are down quite a few energy. There's a hammer. Doesn't really make much of a difference. The end of the day, yeah, crushing hammer it doesn't matter, bro. Your hammer is useless, bro. Unless you have Aegis Latch. But if you do, you're almost bench locked, so you can't bench anything else, you know. They have three waters in the deck. Alrighty then, sure. ADP with three waters. Seen it all. But yeah, I th uh, yeah, they have Aegis Latch, they have Aegis Latch. They could have an Arang Guru, I guess. That could be a bit of an issue. They could play like a Mew, but Mew would be super easy to deal with because you just speed dive it. Yeah. We should be able to walk away with a win. Yeah, there's and now they're bench locked, so we don't even have to. We don't have to do anything. We just pass every turn. They they can't bench anything, right? Unless they have exile, there's no way they can bench a mall while if they have two. Get your boss's order. Do what you want, buddy. Knock out my poor Toxic Croak. Do whatever you want. The end of the day doesn't matter. Yeah, intrepid sword. They're bench locked. We just click done. And again, it's <laughs> it's a very fun and interactive game of PDCGO. But uh, yeah, this is um. This is standard right now. You try to play a fun VMAX deck, you can't bench them, so you just have to put a wall in play and hope they don't have anything. Like, you know. A very interactive game of PDCGO. This is... Yeah, you love to see it. I know. You just absolutely love to see it. You just... 
love to see him. Bro. I mean, it always feels good to beat this ADP deck. You know, it always feels good to beat ADP. So it is what it is. My, my, I mean, yeah, there's no, I don't think my opponent can win. Like, I feel like it's impossible at this point. They'd have to have like, they would literally have to play like Giovanni's Exile. Cause we're not attacking them. We're not going to take any prizes. We're not letting them have a board spot open. So it's pretty much game over. There's no way they can even put a VMAX in play to VB me if they even had that as an option. But yeah. They can't even do Goss. Yeah, they can't Goss loop either. And even if they could, we would just attack them. So that doesn't even matter. It's literally just game over. They can Brave Blade, knock me out. Go ahead, boy. Hail my Crow Gunk. Take your two prizes. You know, I didn't put a Crowbite in play. You know, I did nothing like that. So it is what it is. We just pass. We just, we click done. Yeah, very, very interactive game. Very exciting video. I know you guys are just super excited to see the rest of this game play out. I already know it. I already know some of you guys are just like, oh, let's skip ahead to the next game where hopefully Crowback gets used. But, uh, I mean, yeah. Like, it is what it is. Sometimes people just don't respect Altaria and you get it in play. You just auto win. And, you know, it's the philosophy of Pokemon, you know, the philosophy of Pokemon. You know, back in the old days when evolutions were playable because there was no ADP that could take an extra prize card, the Pokemon gods ascended to the realm of immortality. But then Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia was printed, and you couldn't play a V or V Max deck because if you try to use the hit and run, ADP happens to play four bosses order and an Eldegoss, and you are unable to use Crobat V Max because. You would just get bosses ordered constantly, and you would just lose your Crobat, and you would lose half your prizes. And if you happen to have a Swablu or Krogan get knocked out, or a Lucky Mawile hit, you will lose the game. So if you just win by putting a single Altaria in play, you should just win at the game. And that is what Standard Format has become in 2021, because of how overpowered Alter Creation has become, and because it's unplayable to put a V or V Max in play, because of how toxic Alter Creation really is as an attack. Wow, the great book of philosophy of Pokemon TCG standard format 2020. I just gave it a read, bro. I just gave it a read, and it's just exciting. As far as my point is sticking around, like, we're never decking out before they do. <laughs> so, like, 40, like, we have, like, 45 cards in the deck, and they have, what, like, three? They could still Marnie me, I guess, but, like, that's not gonna, like, they should just concede, bro. They should just concede. It doesn't matter what they do. I can do this all day, bro. I can do this all day. I can do this. I can, I can do this all day. I can just keep pressing done. You got nothing, buddy. You got nothing. He might not even play Marnie. I haven't seen one yet. I know some ADP lists don't even play Marnie. They just go for like super aggression with like research to Dene, Skyla. Yeah, that's game. I mean, this is what what the Pokemon has become in 2021. You just can't put a you can't put a Crobat down because you just lose. You know, you know. Sprite, why? Like, bro, why is my point sticking around, dude? I, I would have just conceded, moved on. You know, play another game. You know. Ruin someone else's day by running into an EDP deck, but uh, it's what it is. We got a stealthy hood. Would that ever be relevant? I don't think so. There's no, literally no reason to do anything. We literally just passed. Like, we, we don't have to do a single thing. We just got to press the done button. It's like, it's so exciting and interactive, bro. The interactive, most interactive, insane, best PDCGO gameplay. It's the, some of the best PDCGO gameplay you will ever see on YouTube. Some of the best top tier PDCGO gameplay you will ever see on the internet in general, guys. Just, I know you guys are just like super just ecstatic and interested in just how exciting and exhilarating this game is i mean just imagine commentating this game an official tournament you know you're just hyping up the crowd oh my god what will little dark fury do what will my opponent do with his asian oh just press done all right yeah just, you know very exciting match i know you guys are just in just awe right now of how exciting this game really is my opponent if he doesn't have another marnie he will deck out he's got another marnie i mean yeah just stick around i mean bro it, it, it's just some of the most insane gameplay ever made, bro. This is this is what PDCGO should be, guys. You just put a wall in play, play against ADP. You know, you can't put a two-prizer in play because you get punished for it. It's just so cool. Best best gameplay on YouTube, I promise, guys. It's just, I, I mean, this is winning Players' Cup 4, right? This is winning Players' Cup 4, you know? It's just, you know, why why would you want to watch a game where, you know, I try to put evolutions in play and I try to, you know, attack and evolve and take a prize? If I could just put an Altari in play and just press done over and over again and my opponent will just, you know, keep passing every turn until my opponent decks out because there's no way I'm losing this game. You know, there, I have an ornate rod. I, I can't even, you know, I can't even deck out because I have a rod. I can put back a card. I mean, it's like, what can my opponent do? They can't do anything. I just press done over and over again until my opponent cries and decks out. I mean, I sh you know, if I played a Fiona in the deck, I could have, like, looped Fiona every turn to really make it hard for me to deck out. But it's like, my opponent can't do anything. If I had the other in play you know i'd be forced to attack every turn you know maybe i would win and maybe i wouldn't win i don't know maybe i should play 
the power energy, and there's the victory screen. My opponent just conceives the game knowing that they can't beat Altaria. That was some of the best gameplay ever on YouTube. Best PDC Joe gameplay. Standard format 2021. You don't even need, you know, you can't put a V or V max in play. You lose to ADP, alter creation. Very balanced attack. Should have been printed. Definitely ADP. Definitely did not need to be banned. It was such a balanced attack. I can't wait to move on to the next match. All right, getting into the next match. It looks like we have hit an Urshifu V max deck. Judging from the deck box here and sleeves, this is probably Urshifu VMAX. Now, we do have one specific, um, one specific chop. We can put Crabite down. But we can also probably just win with Altaria. I don't think Urshifu has a way to stop Altaria, so... To be fair, we might not even need the Crobat VMAX. Like, well, they could play Phoebe. Yeah, they could play Phoebe. I think we should still use Crobat VMAX if we can, because they could have Phoebe in the deck. That is always a possibility if they have a Phoebe. And okay, wow, we get a double Swab Blue Star, which is kind of hilarious. This is a pretty decent hand, too. Like, we got, like, everything, except for, like, an energy and, like, a better draw supporter. This hand's insane, bro. The double Swab Blue Star? Ooh, we're playing against Mad Party. That is very much not what I was expecting. Okay, uh, what am I even gonna quick buy? I guess we quick buy one of the Altars. We don't really need two of them. Grab Crobat. Crobat VMAX is still okay here. It's not, like, terrible. I have to probably just burn this Evo Incense. And Crobat for three. We need an energy here. We do find one. Alright, um... Do that. I think I'll just pass. Yeah. Well, next turn, we can probably go with... The Crobat knockout. I mean, Crobat VMAX is still good in this matchup. Like, we have three dolls we can go into. Um, they do have a lot of gusts, though, which is scary. But, like, they can't one-shot me. They can two-shot me. Them two-shotting me is good for us. Like, we'll see how it goes. This is definitely a matchup that might be hard. We'll see. Next turn, I actually wouldn't mind trying to go Mew. Knock out one of the Synesties and go Mew. But, oh, it looks like they are going to get a KO on my Swablu. Not good. I don't like them getting the first knockout. I maybe could have benched another Swablu, but we can draw a Pokecom. I didn't want to... I'm going to put a Swaboom play. We can draw a Pokemon Communication. Let's see if they KO me here. They need to get two Mad Pirates and discard. They do not KO me. They hit me for 20 damage. What do we draw? Perfect top deck. That's a good draw. We just play that. Not the switch. I, I mean, we have 210 HP. I, even if we don't get the knockout with Crobat VMAX, which, bruh, we didn't get. Well, I was going to say, we can still do this... Ugh, we have to waste an energy though, so we are gonna be back. We are gonna be set back a turn, unfortunately. But we do get to Psy power here and take a knockout on one of their Sinestis. I maybe should have put the Unibard on the Mew, by the way. I don't know why I didn't do that. That was a funny little turn. Hopefully, we don't get knocked out here. If we, if somehow, some way, my Mew by some random miracle doesn't get knocked out, that'll be great. I'm not gonna do much with it though. Like it's not like we're gonna get a KO with it or anything. But like I'm hoping Mew survives the turn. So we need to get the energy back onto the Crobat. Because we did get knocked out there. Or we had to retreat, sorry. Ooh, they get a mime. They got the knockout. That's annoying. We're going to fall back a couple prizes here, most likely, until we can set up again. Well, they could bench like a Dedenne. We can maybe boss trap it. That's unfortunate. They just got there, too. Rip. Yeah, not good. The big knockout. There's an energy. Okay. Do we want to Marnie them? They have a pretty big hand, but they didn't do much with it. There's, like, not really a big reason to Marnie them. I think we'll still Marnie them. There's no reason not to Marnie them, though. Plus, we have too many supports in my hand. I don't want to discard. Okay. I do want to find Lily's Poke Doll. That's a big card I want to look for here is the Lily's Poke Doll. We could do this. We'll calm for the VMAX. We don't really need Toxic Croak in this matchup. Yeah, Toxic Croak's literally useless. Um, do this. Do this. We'll Rod. Rod, put back Mew and Altaria. And we'll put back this, too. And then we'll drop the Crobat. Try to get a doll if we can. Nope, no dolls. No dolls in sight. Well. We also didn't get another energy or supporters so we're unable to actually attack next turn with stealth poison so i think we just pass and hope they can't do 120 damage they have one synesty in play they need to get three mad powers in the discard this turn to knock me out here so we'll see if they get there 
We do see the mention of the Sinestia. That is something we could chase. We could chase it with uh, Mew this turn if we can draw an energy. I think we always just go Stealth Poison. We probably have to do another Crobat, though. Once we top deck a supporter, we're probably have to do another Crobat because, like, yeah. <laughs> It's unlikely they kill me though. They need like a Dedenne or Research to knock me out. There's one more map party or such. Four? Four? They got four in the discard. They have a level ball. They might have a Dedenne in their hand here. We'll have to see. They might have the Dedenne in hand. Yep. But not the Dedenne. Okay, well. Do they have the... Oh, they got double level ball. They either are thinning or they have a Research. Do they have a Research? Or a Dedenne? Nice, they don't. All right, that was scary. I thought they had a research there. All right, we need an energy this turn. There's a Marnie. I, actually, playing that's not terrible because they have three Mad Parties in their hand. Actually, that's just not terrible to take away those Mad Party options. If I'm being honest with you, it's not the worst Marnie ever. Yeah, let's just play it. I'm fine with this. We take away some Mad... We put Mad Parties at the bottom of the deck. That's not terrible. There's the energy. Still no Lily's Pokey Doll, however. That's not good. We need to find those dolls. We need to find those dolls ASAP. Then we just stealth poison, knock him out. We'll have to feed him. The feed him. Altaria. Like, no, I mean, it's pretty obvious they're going to get a prize on my other Altaria. It doesn't really matter what Altaria we give them. Like, you know, they're always going to get a prize. We do need to evolve this other Crobat, though, too. Um, we'll see if we can win this. We might have a couple turns where we get Max Cutter. Crobat is a little hard to knock out in one hit. So, like, it's not going to get KO'd. So, we can just go, like, Max Cutter a couple times while it's in the active instead of bringing stuff. Once we find our Lily's Pokey Dolls, I'm feeling pretty good. We force them to have to find boss every turn. Um, they'll stamp in the deck too. If they ever knock out this Crobat, stamp to a low hand size could be huge. Especially stamp into like a doll could be really big for us. That's like one little strategy we do have. A Palpad, but only back a research and not a boss, which is good. So that's less boss they have even now, which is also good. Yeah, they're going to drop a Dedenne. They are Dedenne in here looking for some more stuff. We'll see if they find more stuff. They need a lot. The Dedenne could be a boss turn. If we don't make a boss, we could boss the Dedenne and bring it in the active. Two shot the Dedenne. Make it maybe hard for them to move it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the big thing though is we need to find Lily's Poke Doll. That's like the big thing on the agenda right now is find Lily's Poke Doll. Oh, they're already down one boss. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, once we find our dolls, we're vibing. We are ahead in the prize trade too, especially if we can knock out Dedenne here. Maybe we can get a Max Cutter knockout. Like, if we just draw a boss here, honestly, I'm tempted just to knock out the Dedenne with Max Cutter, knowing Crobat can't get one shot in return. Well, uh, we'll see. As long as we build up another Crobat. We could also build up one of the Altarias, which can one-shot all the Mad Party attackers. We have that going for us. But, I mean, I don't know. Oh, they do have a boss. They're going to boss my Crobat. Do they have a knockout? I think they do. They do. Oh, shoot. That should be their last boss, though. So that's good. That's bad, but fine. Because now we can stamp them to like one. Oh, there's the boss. Um, it is risky though to go for this play though on the Dedenne. I do want to do it though. Uh, they're out of twin energy, so they have to find it. Oh, they're down in an air balloon and two twins. Actually, there's a chance they don't move Dedenne. So we can hit the Dedenne, then they can't exile, and then we can boss it later on. Yeah, let's do it. We're not going to knock it out. Yeah, I'm not going to knock it out. I'm just going to stealth poison it. So then they can't exile. And then at some point, we can always boss it back up. We do two-shot it. Let's get Maltaria. That's fine. Yeah, because then we can just re-knock this thing back out if we really wanted to. Right? Just bring it back up. Hit it for 80 with the poison damage. No, they do have an air balloon. I was hoping they wouldn't move this, but... The guy did have an air balloon in his hand, which is a little annoying. We alternatively could trap the Guru, though, also. I don't think they have more than two balloons, so we could also win by trapping Guru. Yeah, the big thing here, I think, is going to be, do they have three boss? But we could just win by trapping Guru. We need to find dolls. We actually don't get a doll next turn. We're probably going to lose. We're running out of Pokemon to give my opponent. Um, Like, we're running out of options here. Like, we really badly need to find a Lily's Poke doll. <laughs> we only have three, but we should find one soon. There we go. We got a stamp, too. That's good. We only have to play it now. Now we just do our little Crobat thing. We have to get another Crobat. Ugh. We have to quick ball for another Crobat. That actually could be pretty disastrous because if they do play three boss, we just lose. But I don't think they do play three boss. 
I can't remember. I don't know what Mad Party looks look, look like. I haven't played, I don't really play much of my Mad, Mad Party in Standard, so to be honest, I don't really know how many bosses order they really play. But I gotta imagine it's only two with the pal pad. Okay, nice. We don't have to play another Crobat now. And I was kind of scared we would have to play another Crobat, but we don't. If they have a boss here, we can go stamp the one. They already have all the energy in play, though, so I guess stamp really doesn't matter, but, you know, still kind of nice. I do think we can win by trapping Guru, though. I don't think they have three balloons. Once we find our last boss, we can just bring in that Oranguru. Oh, they're going to dead A again. Does that mean they do have another boss in the deck? Because why else would they be dead A changing? Maybe they do play three boss, but like, they, well, they can't boss anything and win anyways. They can't watch out Crobat, and there's no way they can do 330 damage. They knock out one of my guys on the bench. It's like they don't win the game. And they still have to go through the dolls. They have an exile. They can get rid of the Dedene and the Guru, which does take away our win condition, I guess, by bossing them, which actually does hurt, but we weren't going to boss them this turn anyways. Oh, they keep the Guru. Hmm. That was kind of a bad idea because we... I mean, yeah, they're out of twins. They played all four twins. They're down two balloons. Oh, a rope. Well, that's annoying. We have a few options we can do. We can deny them a prize this turn to give them Crobat. Like, it's down to whether or not they have three boss or not, you know? We can deny them the prize, give them the Crobat. Or we can give them a prize. If we give them a prize, like, it doesn't matter, right? If, like, especially if they have a boss left. I think I'd rather deny them the prize here. Yeah, I'll deny them the prize. They'll win no matter what they have a boss, right? If I give them a, if I give them a Altari or Swablu, they're going to win anyways. Um, by boss. So I just might as well give them the Crobat and make them not take a prize. So if they don't have a boss in the deck, they don't, you know, they still have to, they still have to do a lot of work to win this if they don't have a boss, which I don't think they do. Like, either way. Ooh, another doll. Perfect. Nice little top deck. Yeah, yeah we're fine. We can stamp them here. I mean, sure. If they have a boss, maybe we're going to make it harder on them to find it by snapping them the two. Why not? You know? Thin out the deck a little bit. Got a Krogunk. We got two boss still. I mean, yeah, I think we can still win by bossing Guru, but at the rate we're going, we might just win by taking our prizes. If they have, if, like, it's going to come down to whether or not they have another boss. There's another Lily's Pokey Doll. We got the boss too for next turn. Yeah, if they have boss, they have boss. If they play three boss, they play three boss. If they don't play three boss, giving them the Crobat was the best play I could have done. So then they still have to work a lot to win the game. And I think we're going to win at this point if they don't have a boss left. So. Yeah, no matter what I did there, they would have won if they have boss left in the deck. Give them the Swablu, they have boss, they win the game. Give them the Crobat, they don't have boss. They still have to do a lot to win the game because we have three dolls coming their way. And they're out of gust. Plus, we can maybe trap Guru to win the game. Nope, that's not a boss. It makes us our win con closer now. We can take prizes or we can just win by bossing to Dene. So that's game over. Yeah, I just, <laughs> you know, let's do this. Give him the whelp. I think I muted him. Yeah, he was spamming too many emotes. And then we just max cutter for game. GG's. Yeah, okay. That worked out. I do want to see if he had the boss. So I actually am very curious to see if he actually had the boss. If I can see his deck list. Did he have the boss? Three boss one time? He had a great catcher? Yeah, he only had two boss. All right, yeah. As expected, a two boss Mad Party list. This is what usually Mad Party plays. Plus the pal pad. If we still have the pal pad left, we probably would have lost that game. Maybe. He had rope. He had great catcher. Great catcher doesn't work on bad, so... So yeah, we could have won by trapping Guru or by just bossing the Dedene. So we had multiple win cons. All right, good to know. All right, getting into the match with Crobat here. Hopefully we're not up against another Mad Party or ADP deck. Those are the two decks I don't want to play against. They're already playing against enough Mad Party decks as is. We already beat ADP. We'll see what it is. We do have a pretty good hand, kind of. We'll see how we get going here. All right, Jirachi start. All right, thankfully this doesn't look like it's a Mad Party deck or ADP. We have to get Crobat here. Not the quick ball we send them. We'll have to just hope that this dark asset gives me something good. Because I don't want to get rid of the switch. We're probably going to need that next turn to move uh, Crobat here. There we go. We got an energy. We'll just pass. We do have the Evo Incense for the Crobat VMAX. We got the switch. All that good stuff. Might be against a potential Urshifu deck. So the only deck I can think of that plays Jirachi, but we'll have to see. Could be ADP, though. Still a chance it's ADP, but we'll see. If it is Urshifu, we do have the Weakness Guard Energy, which we have to hope can carry us. Uh, we have to get a hood on it. They're playing Giratina. There's a Calm. It is an Urshifu deck. All right. We didn't run into Mad Party or ADP. Yay. <laughs> Urshifu. So it's a matchup we can beat. 
Uh, getting Marnied here would actually suck quite a bit. This hand is pretty dang good. I actually really don't want to get Marnied. Hopefully our Mew is not prized. I should have checked to see if Mew is prized. Um, ooh, there's a Dojo. They actually will knock out my Krogunk here, which is not great. Don't like them getting this early prize. So I do want to use... Yeah, I kind of want to use Toxic Croak in this matchup to do extra damage. So I'm actually hoping Krogunk doesn't get KO'd here. They just need to switch in an energy, though, to knock me out. Oh, they're going to boss my Crobat. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't have anything. Well, that just saved me a switch, I guess. Which, Well, look at that. We drew another switch. The game's like, nope, have another switch. Let's get the VMAX here. Get the weak guard on. We'll play the other Crobat down. We could get boss, but they already just wasted one, so it's unlikely. Get three energy. All right. Love to see it. We have to Marnie them. Which I don't even know if it's a good idea to do that because they didn't play supporter, but we are knocking them out. There we go. We got ourselves a doll. No Altaria, but the doll will have to do. Not a great follow-up hand, but we'll have to see how we make it work. So what is Stealth Poison? Not going to play the Big Charm because we need to save it potentially for Stealthy Hood if we can find it. Because they might be playing the, uh, you know, the Tina. We do get another doll, so we can buy another turn potentially, which is good. And uh, it's unlikely they're going to be uh, doing a Gale Thrust this turn. So it's probably going to be a Strafe knockout on my doll, which is still kind of bad. Like, the fact that doll gets knocked out by Strafe still kind of sucks. Um, I want to find Swell, too, to get rid of their dojo. We'll see what I Marnie them into. The best thing I probably could have given them is another Marnie. And uh, the other thing, too, is we're not going to evolve this Crobat until we get the VMAX. Well, speaking of evolving, we actually need to get Mew down. Because we can get bodied by Rapid Flow. Yeah, that would be very bad. We need to find Mew. That was a bad Marnie. So either we need to get Marty back or we need to top deck a supporter. I guess we could draw another Crobat, but I don't really want to bench another Crobat. Okay, now they're losing more boss, but they have Mewtwo. But that is one less boss I have to work with now, which is still kind of relevant. Especially because Jirachis can get picked off super easily by Stealth Poison. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we can win this. Even if we lose, I think I'll still stick the game out. I really want to see if Crobat can actually take down an Urshifu VMAX deck. We need to find Altaria too. Yeah, if we don't get Altaria, we actually get we can lose two. We'll hold the Swablu, though, because if they, gale, if they do Rapid Flow and knock out my Swablu and Krogunk, presumably, we do need to bench another Swablu, so we'll save the Swablu. Oh, they just flat-out discard the Giratina. Huh. So I guess we don't need Stealthy Hood anymore. All right, look at that. I guess their, their logic is they can't get me in the active. And, oh, we get a knockout this turn. That's really good. Oh, there's a Crobat, so. We'll put the big charm on. Play the doll. We could try to boss their Crobat this turn and knock it out. Nah, I think we just take out the Jirachi. I'm fine with this. Knocking out Jirachi is never a bad thing, you know? We do another Dark Acid. I don't want to bench that many Crobats, though. Nah, let's just let's just take a knockout. I'm not going to bench the Crobat. I'm not trying to bench two Crobats against Urshifu. Not getting the, uh, the What's-His-Face here is really bad. Not getting the Mew or the Altaria down is not good. So maybe we should have went Crobat just to dig for Altaria. I just, I don't know, like, we probably, will get punished if we have two Crobats in play, I feel like, but if we get a weak guard on both, yeah, you know what, I should have went Dark Asset there to try to get an Altaria. That was a misplay, but if somehow they whiff the alt, the gale, the rapid whatever, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, if they whiff the G-Max rapid flow, we should be chilling, but it's unlikely. Yeah, there's a calm. they can get the Urshifu if they have a Pokemon in their hand. And they just needed a rapid energy and a switching card, and, uh... Yeah, I should have played the Crobat. But again, it's so, like... That's, like... I don't know. And if we whiff the Altaria there, we get punished super hard. Because then we just have two Crobats in play. And not only that, they have the, the Dojo. And unless we find Swell, that Dojo is going to let them one-shot me. What? They whiffed again? We're getting lucky here. Okay, now we do a Marnie. All right. We have to play it. Yeah, I'm not going to put the doll back in the deck. I was thinking about it, but... Not going to do it. Maybe I should have... We caught the Altaria. We also got the Mew. Pretty cool. Some good stuff right there. We'll play the doll. We have the dolls for later. We have two dolls for later on. That's not bad at all. Having two dolls for down the road could be decent. Let's put an energy. We'll bench Mew. So, yeah, I don't want him to do Rapid Flow. Still have Rod still. Eh, I'll just save the energy. I don't really want to play it. Yeah, let's just, I don't want to play the energy. We'll still poison them. I mean, the fact that we've been able to knock out three Jirachis before they even put damage on my board is insane. They have not attacked yet. 
Nice. We got another supporter for next turn. Good. Because we probably need to find another weak card energy for the other Crobat. I mean, they'll still be able to knock it out with Gale Thrust, but still. And we're not going to evolve that Crobat until we need to, right? If we put that Crobat, if we don't have the VMAX in place, even if we get the weak card on, knowing they're Giratina's down, I still don't want to give them two VMAXs. All right, they just sack the Mewtwo. Those are two really important cards that they just got rid of. They got rid of their Giratina, so now our weak cards are safe. And they just got rid of their Mewtwo, so now they can't boss chase my Crobat. Why would they not bench the Mewtwo? And just put boss on top. I am so confused. Maybe my opponent plays Phoebe. To go through Altaria. I don't know what their thought process was. I have a Mew down. I don't know. Whatever. I'll take it. You know what? It's given us a big advantage in this matchup. <laughs> now, like, we're... We... Like, we're in a really good spot. They lost two of the most important pieces in their deck. Okay, they're gonna Marty me. That's fine. Give us more to work with. They haven't played a research yet. So we yet to find a research here. We'll see if we can uh, find another weak card. I wouldn't mind finding Toxicroak either. No, we do get a Swell. We got a weak card. All right, still no Supporter or Toxicroak, but whatever, we'll make it work. As long as they can't take out Altaria, it doesn't matter. All right, there's the Gale Thrust, right? Yeah, no Phoebe. They might play Phoebe. I got to imagine they do. Most lists do. Let's get that Swell down. Get that on. Hmm. We could play Dark Asset. There is value to doing it here. What are we looking for? We did get the double weak card on. They're down the Mewtwo, so I feel like it's pretty safe to play this. Yeah, it's, it, I feel like it's safe to play it. Yeah, we got the Toxic Croak. We have a boss too. I think we just hit the active and just go into Altaria. I'm gonna hold the hand. No, there's no reason. I there's no boss target I can think of really. So do this and go into the Altaria. The only punishment of doing this is we don't have a weak card, so it's an easy Gale Thrust target. Because we have Mew in play, though, I'm feeling this is safe. Not to mention, like, if we always want to, we can panic and evolve that into a VMAX. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the fact that they're down their Giratina and their Mewtwo just tells me that I feel like it's okay to pinch this Crobat. We're not going to, like, get super punished for it, in my opinion. The only thing is we can't bench another Swablu, so we can't get a second Altaria. This will be pretty bad if they do play Phoebe, which I imagine they do play. Not only that... Um, what's his face? Phoebe. Phoebe's a problem. But we can still go Doll. But then we can't go Wobbly. So we could get punished for benching the uh, other Crobat. But I feel like we just wanted to dig. And I mean, yeah. We can just keep bullying these Urshifus, I think. We can also boss target this. Nah, I think we just stealth poison the active. They'll retreat. I mean, like, they can't do much. They could play a Cheryl, but that's fine. We'll just keep willing to, we'll keep windling away at one of these Urshifus until we can find an energy and then just max cutter for game. I think that's going to be our game plan. They can go triple Urshifu here, but they're going to run out of switch outs eventually. We'll see. See what they got. Yeah, we'll just whittle, we'll just whittle down their HP and then just boss them with max cutter. That'll be our win condition. There's the energy, so. Go here. Casting active. Health poison. Go back in Altaria. We can also win by just doing this over and over again. This is also a possibility. This is why one of the Toxic can play just to add that extra 30 damage. Just make it so like if they don't move the Pokemon this turn, the poison's gonna eat at them and then we're gonna be able to KO them with a max cutter. Yeah, they've all got a poison. Now they have three or shoes in play. We just need to hit one more time and boss. As long as we don't get stamped or Marnied, should I get them? Oh, they have another Dedene. Okay. Curious to see how many dojos they play. They might play three. They can still put a dojo technically in play. I just can't believe they didn't put Mewtwo in play. That, like, they literally, honestly, they could win very easily with Mewtwo being able to loot boss every turn. If they're able to loot boss, I actually think we could lose this. Because, oh, there's the Phoebe. There it is. So that's what I was worried about. They do find the Phoebe. Not the end of the world, though. Like, we're still very far ahead in this game. Yeah, we're still very far ahead. We can't win this turn. But, yeah, I'm feeling okay. I think we just hit the active. We can just give him this Crobat here with the weak guard on. You know? I'll put a U-turn board on one of these, just in case. I want to need to hold the hand, so... Yeah, we'll just go Stealth Poison. I'm not going to play anything else. If I keep holding the hand, acting like I have a dead hand, they might not Marnie me either. Because uh, I have game in hand, so I'm not going to... Much. We'll just give them Crobat. They can't knock it out. They don't have Tina. They can't even bench gear Tina. So even if they have like a second one or a rod or something, it doesn't even matter. And they can't one shot this because they can't get Dojo in play. So we'll feed them the Crobat. Let me just win next turn. 
if we keep our hand. And again, just not doing much with our hand. No supporter being played, you know, not doing much. Maybe I have a dead hand. They don't Marnie me. There's a research. So I think my game plan worked. They didn't have Marnie in their hand anyways. Yeah. My Honestly, because they had like Phoebe and the Mewtwo, they honestly should win this game. But they just kind of threw the game by just discarding the Mewtwo. I genuinely do not know why they got rid of Mewtwo. And that's game over. Unless they have a reset stamp, which they could. But they don't. And that's game... Crobat VMAX beats an Urshifu deck, which, yeah, I mean, to be honest, didn't really, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm glad we got to play against this deck. I think my opponent definitely should have held that Mewtwo. They would have had a better shot of beating me, but there we go. We got the dub. We beat a Urshifu deck with Crobat, and weak card energy kind of did justice, I guess, because it scared them a little bit. They know they can't hit Crobat for weakness and do 300 damage. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Crobat VMAX deck, the busted Crobats. Let me know what you guys thought of the video by leaving a like and also in the comments below what you guys think of the deck. Let me know if there's any changes you would make to it. Personally, I maybe would just add Power Plant to the deck. I think that could help against Mewtwo, so a few plants might actually be a good addition to the deck. Um, overall, but, or like a mimic you could be cool too. Uh, that's another option. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out Car Cabin. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Check out uh, my socials, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon, and I'll catch you guys later.